Okay, thank you, Fernando, for the introduction. Thank you for putting this uh, webinar. I wanna, my name is Christos, Christodoulou, I'm the Dean for the School of Engineering here, and I wanna welcome all of you. Uh, this is very exciting because it is the first, first smart management of infrastructure webinar, you know, and uh, we hope to do that every year. Um, it's not just the graduate students who, who gain from this. It's the city of Albuquerque and the state of New Mexico and, and, and society in general. Uh, the research, the learning directly benefits um, my community and it benefits your community. Today, the presenters will cover seven different topics, but I will focus on the low cost efficient wireless intelligence sensors that we call Lewis. And that way you can see how this interface is a, is a, it's an important topic for practitioners who want to use technology. The technology is supposed to help them to be understand or interface with the structure better. So that's the approach that uh, we are doing in our group. I, th uh, I thank everyone who joined uh, for this webinar with us today. Um, Let's start the meeting, like the presentation, as soon as possible. Uh, today I'm going to cover motivation, methodology, implementation, field testing, and conclusion. Uh, I'm Jackie, and I'm now doing my postdoc in UNM. Well, I'm focused on implementing AR in different areas in civil engineering. For example, the uh, emergency response and rescue that I will talk about today and uh, topology optimization and engineering training. Well, uh, today I would like to share some interesting AR implementations in the emergency response and rescue. Okay, um, hello everyone, thank you, Dr. Morrow. Um, uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Xin Xin Yuan, and I am a PhD student from SMILAM, and today, I'm going to talk about the bridge construction monitoring using the LiDAR uh, for quality control, quality assurance. Thank you for that introduction, Dr. Moreau. Uh, so once again, my name is Eric Robbins, and today I will be talking about an introduction to determining the nonlinear normal modes of pylon wing assembly using force appropriation. And some of this, uh, this work I'll present today is in close collaboration with Sandia National Labs. Good morning. My name is Maimuna, as Dr. Moreau said. I'm a second year PhD student in SMILAB, and the title of my talk today is Real-Time Theoretical and Experimental Dynamic Structural Analysis Using Augmented Reality. So, to give you a summary of what we've created, it is a groundwork for a software application that can take data and generate mode shapes um, of both theoretical and experimental in nature. It is essentially a visualization tool, that's what the HoloLens is for, that can take any number of nodes and any number of data points. We can use this app to overlay theoretical mode shapes on top of experimental mode shapes. We can also overlay in, in experimental data on top of the actual structure. Thank you very much. Um, so today I'm going to be talking to you about real detection and augmented reality using computer vision. Um, before we go any further, I just want to acknowledge my co-author, Shoko Miyama, who did a lot of the work for this app before um, going into augmented reality. That was a quick outline of what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be first talking to you about augmented reality and virtual reality civil applications, an introduction to computer vision, the motivation for this research into the work, the framework and methodology, and the results to date. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, this presentation is a detailed design and implementation of a connection between augmented reality and sensors. Okay, uh, as Professor Moro mentioned, uh, my name is Rafael Fierro. I am a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. I have been at UNM for, for a number of years, since 2007, so I am a, so New Mexico is home. Um, I am going to, to give a, this, this, uh, this presentation about my favorite topic, which is robotics. 
using MATLAB's built-in functions, it's going to randomly select one of the 82 names and the winner will be shown here in the command window for the first round. Then I'll take that winner's name out and we will run it again for the second winner. 